Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear all students. I hope that you are fine. Alhamdulillah. It's English period now for the students of class 2 and students. Today we are going to start our new grammar topic from our workbook. Here we are going to start our lesson, but before starting it, we have to recite to us for exercise. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Now you are going to learn about present kinds of noun which are written on the board and if this lesson is given on page number 40 in your workbook. Now, what are the two kinds of noun you are going to learn today? One number one, common noun and second is proper noun. Now, I am going to read the uh, definition for you then I will take you the examples so this concept will be clear to you. Now, you have to listen to me very carefully. Here you can see that common noun is written. Now I am reading the definition. It is the name of any person, place, animal or thing. Common noun kya hota hai? Common noun wo wale naming words hote hai jo kisi bhi insaan, kisi bhi person ke, kisi bhi animal ke, kisi bhi thing ke, kisi bhi jada ka naam ho sakta hai. Thik hai? Achha. Now its example are man, dog, girl. Man तो कोई भी हो सकता है, girl कोई भी हो सकती है, dog कोई भी हो सकता है, इनका कोई हमें name नहीं पता, ये तो बहुत साल होते हैं, हम उसके हमें नाम नहीं पता, ये तो कोई भी हो सकता है। तो इस तरह के जो name and words होते हैं, वो क्या कहलाते हैं? These are called common noun. Now let's move on to the next one, proper noun. Proper noun क्या होते हैं? It is the name of any special person, place, animal or thing. यानी कि किसी भी खास person, place, animal और thing के लिए तो हम उन naming words को क्या कहते हैं? We call it proper noun. For example, Usman, Polly, Rida. It means these are the special name given to someone. Girl कोई भी हो सकती है, but if we give a proper name to that girl, so the name which we give, that name is called proper noun. That word is called proper noun क्योंकि अब वो एक special name बन चुका है एक girl का और जब वो हम उसको सिर्फ girl के नाम से जानते थे तो that was a common noun so this was the concept of proper and common noun now I hope that it is clear to you very good now you have to read the definition very carefully and you have to do the exercise given in your workbook on page number forty and forty one these are related to common and proper noun now start your unit class now. I am Nikhil. Take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.